Hey there, how's it going? I'm gonna to talk today about one of my all-time favorite quotes. It's not the top all-time favorite quote, but it, it ties up there. It's up there with about three of them. And I like it a lot because it's one thing that I, I talk about, I, 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 I harp on, I, I beat down, and I try to cram it down people's throat. And I know once you cram stuff down people's throat, you cannot make them accept it. But I hope I at least get them thinking. And if I don't get them thinking, I at least get them to at least raise an eyebrow. And that quote is by General Eric Shinseki, former Chief of Staff, uh, United States Army. And if you don't like change, you're going to like irrelevance even less. If you don't like change, you're going to like irrelevance even less. I think that about sums it up. It sums it up because it says change is going to happen and you've got to either embrace it or accept the fact that it's here, it's coming, it's going to happen. And if you don't, guess what? You're going to fall to the wayside. You're going to be cast to the side of the road. You're going to be one of those people that sits there and watches the parade go by and then wonder what happened. And that's the truth. That's, that's the, that's, it doesn't get any more truer than that. You're going to become irrelevant. And change is coming, and I'm seeing it all over the place. I'm seeing it everywhere now, more so than ever. And it's technology is doing that. Technology is driving that change. And... What do we do? Well, we can sit here and, you know, put our head in the sand and expect, expect well, expect to be, um, that it's not going to happen to us. I guarantee you it's going to happen to us. Um, it's going to happen to every industry is going to be impacted by change. And if you don't believe me, you've got your head in the sand. And look at, look at what Netflix and Amazon Prime did to Blockbuster. Look at that. Look at what happened. Where's Blockbuster? They're gone. Huge, huge company, huge organization, and now they're gone. And they're gone because they had refused to change. They refused to adapt. They could have had the chance to buy out Netflix. They had the chance to buy out Netflix, and they chose not to. They're gone. And folks, it's going to happen across a lot of other industries. It's already happening now in the food service pizza industry, specifically the pizza industry. I just saw this commercial earlier this week for the Little Caesar pickup portal. So you can order online on your little app on your phone and you can pay online through the app on the phone because you enter your credit card information or your debit card information. And then you just show up at the store because they don't deliver. You show up at the store and you go to the portal and you find your little number, then you enter the code and the little door will open that applies to you. And it's just that simple. And you take your pizzas, you leave, you never have to talk to a human being. You hear what I just said? You never have to talk to a human being. Airbnb, look what it's doing to the hospitality industry. Rocket Mortgage, look what it's doing to the home lending industry. What's that other app, that real estate app, the one that you can search, draw a little circle or draw a pattern and it shows you all the homes there? That is going to rock, that is going to change the real estate business. I don't care what anybody says, the real estate business that needs to change. It's gonna happen because it's happening already. And if somebody's sitting out there not believing that it's not going to happen, oh, well, people won't do that. People won't do that. Yeah. Look at what happened to the horse-drawn carriage. That's right. The automobile industry took, took care of that. Now look what's happening. Look what is happening to the driving industry. That's right. We're getting driverless vehicles. The consumer will no longer be driving their vehicle. Sure, there might be somebody driving a vehicle, but the consumer themselves will not be driving a vehicle. Look at Lyft, look at Uber. It's happening. But continue living in a, in a life and a mindset of, oh, it's not gonna happen in my industry. Tell you what, guess what's gonna happen? In the pharmaceutical industry, the pharmaceutical business, those pharmacies, Walmarts, Walgreens, CVS, Target that has the pharmacies, guess what's gonna happen there? We're gonna combine a little Airbnb, a little rocket mortgage, a little um, little Caesars. That's right. That's right. That's what's going to happen. And 
I don't know if you've seen them, but they're out there, little robots that make mixed drinks out there in Japan. And in the larger, like in Vegas, in some hotels they have, or some bars, they have robots that mix drinks because they know exactly where the vodka is, and the arm, mechanical arm goes and pulls it and knows exactly how much to pour to get two shots of vodka. It knows how to shake, stir, whatever you need, how to drop the cherry or the olives into the martini and present it to you. Guess what's going to happen? Because it's happening now. It's already happened. And it's going to happen. It's going to rock the pharmacy business and it's going to rock it on its heels. Folks, it's, it's simple. And, and, and the problem is, is there's people out there that are refusing to accept the fact that it's going to change. Oh, well, there's always going to be a need for a human. Yeah, there is. There always will be a need for a human. But a human to ensure that the machine is still up and running. To ensure that the machine is still doing what it's supposed to do. So, yeah, there's going to be a human. For the time being, they're still humans, but eventually, like I'm doing right now, I'm putting myself out of business. And technology is going to put everybody else out of business, so you need to adapt, you need to change, you need to plan, and you need to act on that plan, because if you don't, I sure do hope you like irrelevance, because irrelevance is coming, and it's going to shape the future. Either you're relevant or you're not relevant, and that's all there is to it. It doesn't matter what you do. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And again, it's changing all around you. And if you're not seeing the forest for the trees, then you get exactly what you deserve. So what are you doing to go with that change and be stay and remain relevant as opposed to irrelevant? Folks, the time to act is now because before you know it, you're going to watch that parade go on by and you don't know what happened. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.